Hello everyone, uh, welcome to yet another edition of Real Crimes. So as promised, I'm actually going to do a video. Okay, as promised, this current video, the one I'm recording now, is about the late Jackie Malundo. Jackie Malundo, that was what we all knew her as. But her real name was Jacqueline Olin Vivian Madundo, born on the 10th of May, 1980. And she died on the 17th of November, 2004. She was, how old was she? 23, 24? So who was Jackie Madundo? Jackie Madundo was a um, powerful gospel singer in Zimbabwe. If you were born in the 2000s, then you probably don't even know her. You probably don't even know her music. But us who were born long back, we actually got to enjoy the powerful voice that woman possessed. She was a gospel singer. So growing up, Jackie Malundo was a member of um, the Zayoja Forward in Faith Church. And she and her sister, Mabel was singing as uh, Madundo sisters. Then later on, they were joined by two other members and they rebranded their group to Vessels of Honor. And there was only one guy in the group, Kuzai Nyoni. And as time went by, um, more members came into the group or maybe, what should I say, they formed a new group that included, that included uh, Ivy Combo. Uh, it also included people like Karum Jokoro. And they named that group the Agia Gospel Choir, Agia Gospel Train or something like that. They were like really melodious singers, like they sang so beautifully together. Jackie Madondo was a very powerful singer and yeah, so she also did a solo project and um, yeah, that was just before she, she died. She actually had released her own project. So I think if you were born during my time, if you grew up during my time, you would know there was a show that used to be done, like it was an annual event, I think, that was dubbed the Nguaya Kwana. Um, it was a gospel show. So... Uh, in on this particular day in November of 2004, uh, Jackie Madundo was supposed to be performing at the HICC Nguaya Kwana Gospel Show. But before that, she had actually also teamed up with, um, or they formed a group that they called the Ruvuwuta Sisters that was marketing the Victoria Falls in Zimbabwe. And this group also, uh, it, was a, it was an all-women's group. That included the likes of Plaxedis Wenika, um, Fortune Matenga, uh, Ivy Combo. They were also in that group. It was called Ruvuvute um, Sisters. I, I, the, the, the team was really good. Like, I don't want to lie. Those ladies could sing. It was a, they did a beautiful piece. If you could look it up, I think you'll be able to find it on YouTube. I wish I could insert it, but I'm just afraid of being hit by copyright. It was a beautiful, beautiful project that they did marketing the Victoria Falls. So, somewhere along the line, Jackie got pregnant, got a baby. We never got to hear about the daddy of her baby or uh, if she got married or if, you know, there wasn't much said about the paternity of the baby. So, come... Um, November 14, 2004, Jackie and her sister, Mabel, and their baby, Chantal. She, the baby was three months old by then, and she was called Chantal, and another friend. They were driving to, they were actually driving to pick up a friend from Hatfield, and then they were supposed to go to the HICC for their, for the Nguaya Kwana gospel show. That was like a show that people Gospel, love, gospel music lovers looked forward to every year. It was an annual event. It was perfect. It was beautiful. 
all the beautiful gospel singers would come together and just be in one place. The likes of Amai Suluma, the likes of Baba Namai Charamba, the likes of sometimes would even have Vuyo from South Africa, Vuyo Mkwena from South Africa. And yeah, there were a lot of people that would come just to grace the occasion. It was a beautiful, beautiful annual gospel show. On this particular day, it was happening at the HICC. So while these guys were driving to pick up a friend so that they could go to the HICC, they got to the intersection of Robert Mugabe and Glenara. That's up there, in some way, up there, you know, when you're going to the east, Harare East. Yeah, somewhere near Eastview Gardens, if you know where Eastview Gardens are, somewhere there in the east. So at that intersection, um, Jackie was involved. She was driving. They were involved in a head-on collision with an army vehicle. Now, picture this. That an army vehicle was in that same road should not be a problem. Because there is Cranbourne there, which has, um, uh, um, which barracks, I'm not sure which barracks those are, but I know there is some barracks in Cranbourne there. I used to have a friend who stayed there, so I've been there, I know the place. There is some army barracks in Cranbourne, so the fact that there was an army vehicle on the road at that place is not something that should be dodgy at all. It should be expected that probably the army people were driving somewhere, going home, coming back from work, or coming back from work, going or coming back from coming from home. I don't know, but having an army vehicle on that particular road was not something unusual. Okay, what is unusual is the head-on collision, and yeah, so. We got the news that Jackie Madondo has been involved in an accident on her way to the HICC to do, to, to, uh, as she was part of the gospel team that was performing for the uh, gospel show. And people were all shocked. But also, the other piece of news that shocked a lot of people was that she had a child and the child had died in the accident on the spot like many people didn't even know jackie had a child i'm one of those people that were shocked like huh child what child so yeah her three month old baby chantal died on the spot so according to the sister she's the one who was telling all these stories that um she's the one who was like retelling what happened she says while they were driving the, she heard a huge bang and the next thing she woke up at Parinyatwa hospital and she was told that they'd been in an accident in the afternoon she was also told that her sister Jackie was in the hospital and she was really critical and she was also told that her niece Chantal had died on the spot they actually she was thrown out of the moving vehicle and her body was picked up like a hundred meters away from the scene of the accident and she was also told that the accident was involving an army vehicle. Now, when, that's, when that piece of news started sifting through, like there was a baby involved, people started speculating, what, what baby? Where baby? When baby? How baby? You know, who was the father of the baby? People started like asking questions. Now, Ruvu Vuto sisters, they were, when they were doing their project for this Victoria Falls campaign, um, they, would, they were shooting the, 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 the videos there in Vic Falls, and people started speculating that, right, during that time when they did this Ruvuvuto thing, Jackie was not pregnant. Is it possible that she picked up her pregnancy from Vic Falls? But who could have made her pregnant? For some reason, Professor Jonathan Moy's name came up. Like, I'm still trying to understand why. Was he the Minister of Tourism? No, he wasn't. But for some reason, his name came up. To date, when I look at comments, people commenting about Jackie's death, people still point their fingers towards Professor Moyo. 
that he had a hand. He organized the whole thing. He orchestrated because the army vehicle was apparently very huge and her car was tiny. And when they did a head on, they knew exactly that she, her car would definitely be damaged and the people inside would probably just perish. But the vehicle, the army vehicle would not really suffer. It would not be damaged much. So yeah, for some reason, Professor Moy, I don't know guys, if you know why Professor Moy was fingered, please comment down below. Tell me why people keep pointing fingers at Professor Moy. So that's it. Jackie Madondo died. And then people started talking. Now, when um, her sister Mabel, when she was remembering her sister and telling us, telling her side of what actually happened, she says um, she could not disclose the paternity of the baby. She was not at liberty to say so. That only fueled people's suspicions. Like, this was 2014, your sister died 10 years ago, and you still can't talk about who the father is? Surely that must say something. So yeah, even Professor Moyer went on to Twitter as usual. He loves his Twitter and denied, 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 denied. And he said the only thing that he knows is that she was in a head-on collision with an army vehicle and she died. And people should stop speculating and people should stop talking nonsense because this person actually had a family who actually cared about her and who loved her and who knew who the father of her baby was so people should stop talking he denied he denied get being involved in her accident he denied being the father of her baby of course anybody would deny who would stand up at the top of a house and say yo she was my mistress and the baby was mine obviously nobody would do that but yeah up to now people still point fingers at professor moyo people still say he was involved and he was the father of her baby how that came about i have no idea if somebody knows please let me know let me know why so anyway according to mabel after the accident she would go to some to the court they constantly went to the court to um because of this case now she said she ended up giving up because she would go to in and out of courts and there wasn't much progress happening so she doesn't know what happened to the driver of that vehicle that killed her sister she doesn't know if the guy was charged with culpable homicide if the guy was charged with anything at all she has no idea she gave up because she would just go to the court and nothing would happen they would be told to come back another day and until she grew tired and she stopped going to court. She stopped pursuing the, 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 the case. But she vowed that she will revive the group Vessels of Honor. Okay, that is a group that she started with her sister. And also, Mabel was singing in the Zim Praise. So that family was actually talented with like good voices. She was singing in the Zim Praise, but she ditched Zim Praise and formed her own choir. Mm. And one other thing that you guys need to remember is, do you know Pastor Kasi? Pastor Kasi is in Ivy Combo Kasi. Yes, he was their pastor at that time when they were doing all this Agia Gospel Train, Agia Gospel Movement. They used to go and preach all over Zimbabwe with Pastor Kasi. They would be doing the praise and worship while he's doing the singing, which is um, like he was their father figure. He was their pastor. And yeah, Pastor Kasi. If you don't know Pastor Kasi, go and look for him on Facebook with his wife, Ivy Kompo. Yeah. Well, the internet does not forget. Well, the, when this nonsense happened about Ivy Kompo and the pastor, there wasn't much of social media. But people did not forget. People like me were there, and we kept retelling the story over and over again until the um, social media era came by and people started putting it out there on social media. But yeah, before the social media era, we used to read in the papers about... Pastor Cassie and um, 
Chiki Madondo and Ivy Combo. No, no, no. I'm not saying there was anything between Pastor Cassie and, and Chiki Madondo. No. There was something between Pastor Cassie and Ivy Combo. There is something between. Okay, now they are married. Okay, the husband and wife. But I'm just saying, during the time when they were doing all this gospel train, gospel choirs, and they were doing all this beautiful music, that was the time they were under the leadership of Pastor Admire Kasi. He was there for, and I think it was Pastor Admire Kasi and Amai, his wife. They were like, yeah, that was their pastor. So you can see like this thing came from long, long back. And um, yeah, the other people that were involved in the, that were actually part of the people that sang with Jackie included Karam Jokoro. Uh, I don't know if she changed her surname. Karam Jokoro Chiwenga, I think. I don't, I'm not sure. And then um, Ivy Kombo Kasi was also part of that. Then Mabel was also part of that. Mabel Madondo, Jackie's sister. She was also part of the this gospel train and um, you know working with the pastor Kasi them. So yeah, but the question still stands: What happened to Jackie? Yes, she was in an accident. Was it a real accident? Was it orchestrated by somebody powerful? Because when you look at the comments that people pass on these articles concerning her death. It's always, oh, somebody very powerful orchestrated that. And some people don't even like hide it. They are just putting out Professor Moyo's name out there. So what do you guys think happened to Jackie Madondo? Was it a real accident? Was it one of those accidents? Who was the father of Jackie Madondo's baby? How come not much was said about her pregnancy? Like, Maybe because there was no social media, so we didn't know that she was pregnant. I personally didn't even know that she was pregnant. I was actually surprised when I heard that her baby died in the accident. I was surprised, like, what baby? But the truth is, I actually loved their music so much that I followed their music. Like, I would really wait for them to release a new one and, you know, just play it over and over again and again. They got a lot of airplay. So how come we never got any rumors about her being pregnant? And then again, I'll say maybe because there was no social media back then. So people could actually get pregnant and keep it under the radar until they give birth, until the baby's three months old, until the baby gets killed in an accident. Then we get to know there was a baby, you know, because I didn't even know what happened to Jackie. You guys let me know what you think. Do you think the professor was involved? Do you think there was any powerful person involved? Do you think there was an army person involved? Do you think the accident was really on purpose? It was a, not an accident accident. It was an accident on purpose. I don't know. All I can say is may her soul and the soul of her daughter continue to rest in peace. She was a beautiful, beautiful singer. She had a beautiful, melodious voice. And yeah, we'll forever miss her. We will forever miss um, hearing from her, but of course, we still can play her music that she left for us. I'm one person who actually loved Jackie. I loved her music and I loved the, the whole group, actually. So, yeah, that's about Jackie Madondo, guys. Um, thank you for watching. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> if you are an old subscriber, thank you for stopping by. Please don't forget to share, don't forget to like, comment, and yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Keep safe. Stay away from crime. If you do crime, you're most likely to do the time. Do what you need to do to stay safe. Do what you need to do to keep your family safe. There is COVID out there. And yeah, losing one life is way too many. We are not planning on losing lives to COVID. So let's keep safe. Let's protect ourselves. Let's protect our loved ones. Let's protect our families. Until we meet again, thank you for watching and be blessed. Goodbye.